All right, so I wasn't really planning on doing this video, but this is gonna be more kind of like a vlog, I guess, and just kind of me talking about how I feel lately about work and whatnot. And I know that recently I made a couple videos where I was talking about, you know, things I hate about my job and lies that people say about being a developer and all this stuff. and. I, I want it to be known that I'm not burning out, although I, I do feel like I am sometimes. I'm not because I have burnt out before and I know the signs and I'm not experiencing that. I'm kind of just struggling. I've been struggling at work for a little while now, probably for the last, I don't know, year or so. I have mostly focused on front end development and a lot of UI development. Even the job that I work at now, I was hired as a UI developer or a UI UX developer. And my role was supposed to be a little bit more design oriented and a lot of like HTML and CSS. But after I'd worked there for about a year and even during my interview, I made sure to ask like, hey, like I wanna make sure that if I take this role, I'm gonna be able to learn more about like front end development with, with JavaScript and TypeScript and Angular because I really wanted to take my career in that direction and I wanted to get away from doing a lot of the UI stuff and I wanted to focus more on becoming a full stack developer and they, they, they did say that they would allow that and after I worked there for a little while, I started asking for more of those tasks and then the developer that hired me, my predecessor, I guess, the, the main UI UX guy that was there and the main designer, he left and when he left, you know, they they offered me kind of his position and I turned it down because I didn't want to take the role that he had. And even though a lot of my work was very similar to his, I was very worried that I would have kind of had to fill his shoes. And the dude was a really good developer and he was a really good front end like UI developer. He was top notch CSS skills and all that. And, and you know, light years beyond what I'm capable of because he had like 15 years of experience. And he taught me quite a bit, but I didn't want to continue down that path. And even though I still kind of do a lot of the work that he was responsible for, I asked if I could become a full stack developer or I asked to start getting more of those kind of tasks. And this was about a year ago. I guess the whole point of this video that I, I'm even ranting about is that I I don't feel like I'm a mid-level developer. I don't feel like I have four years of experience. I, I don't feel like I... I am as good as I should be. And even though I've talked to my lead developer and he's told me that I'm doing a good job and, and he's kind of pointed out that, you know, I am learning and, and I'm taking on harder and harder tasks and stuff that I'm doing now, I probably would not have been capable of doing this a year ago because I, I, I have learned so much and I have grown so much that I don't see my own like growth because I'm in, I'm walking in my own shoes. I can't see the trail that I've got behind me because I'm just looking forward at all the stuff that I've been working on. But lately I've just been getting tasks that make me feel so dumb. And it's kind of rough because I'm having a lot of those same feelings that I had when I first started learning how to code and stuff didn't make sense to me. And I'm learning a lot of stuff and it's, it's a bit overwhelming and I don't feel that I, I don't feel that I'm at the experience level that I'm supposed to be at. And it's crazy because everybody will tell you like the sweet spot is is like three to five years of experience, right? Every recruiter I've ever talked to, that's like the 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 range that you shoot for because that's when you start becoming very marketable to employers. That's when you're at mid-level. Some people would even consider me a senior developer with four years of experience, which I just find ridiculous because I work with some legit senior level developers and I am by no means anywhere close to their level of expertise at all and I do see that I know more than than I think I do there's like a, a recent college graduate that has started working for us on, on another team but he kind of works on the same application that I work on at times and I've been helping him with some things and I realized that I do actually know a lot more than I than I think I know but I just don't feel like I do and it's kind of it's kind of rough man it, it it's it's honestly exhausting at times. Um, and most of it is just me being in my own head, but then when I get a task and I take longer than I should on it and things just, 
things that I run into or things that I haven't seen before and things that I don't understand. And I'm in like the thick of Angular right now. I am learning a lot about like Angular and how their components work and and about like the intricacies of Angular that I you know, I'm not just making a component. I'm actually like making custom components with value accessors and having to deal with the validators and the, the like controlling it. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I can't, I can, I feel like I'm, I can barely explain what I'm working on because it's stuff that I'm just learning now. Um, but it's, it's been like this for a while now and it's, it's, uh, it's great. I'm happy that I'm learning this much. Um, but, but it, it is rough at times. And I remember when, when I first started working at my first web developer job and I was, you know, wet behind the ears, green as grass, just so happy to have gotten that first job. Um, a buddy of mine that that is still a friend of mine now that I, I, I talked to who, who worked with me there. He wasn't a buddy of mine when I started working there, but he became a buddy of mine. He was a senior level developer. And I remember many times I would ask him for help. And I would make comments like, man, you're so smart. Like, man, like, like, I can't wait till I'm as good as you are. And he's like, I'm just like you, man. I'm just another developer. I'm, I, I just been doing it longer. And I remember him saying that. And I still think about it now because I, I kind of see where he was coming from at the time because he saw this, this, this new guy who really, like, I looked up to the dude. He's a really smart guy. I, I, I always say he's probably like one of the smartest people that, that I know. And, um, and you know he went to college and and he 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 did the whole thing and and he was a developer for a while and i i always looked up to him and i always just felt like he was just like this this coding genius who who can solve all my problems and now i look back and i realize that a lot of the times when he was helping me it's a lot of the stuff that i do now when someone asks me for help and i kind of just walk through the code and try to figure out what's going on but the fact that he knew how to walk through the code the fact that he knew how to like figure out the problem and how to debug stuff and and that's stuff that i know how to do now but it just doesn't feel like that it doesn't it doesn't feel like i know as much as i know and it, and it, and i don't know this is like a rant i i you know these negative videos that I've been making and, and I even posted on YouTube, like, don't worry, I'll be releasing some positive vibes right now in a little while. I, and, and that's what I plan on doing. I don't plan on continuing to, to, you know, post negative stuff and stuff that's going to discourage people because I wasn't posting that stuff to discourage people. I was posting those things to like, let people know that this is a job. And like many jobs, it, 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 it can be hard at times. And maybe the fact that I have been feeling a little bit like this recently made me want to post those videos because I felt that there's it, it's I'm almost being deceiving if I'm just always saying that it's so, you know, rainbows and butterflies or rainbows and unicorns or whatever. And I'm always saying that it's just like lovely. And I know that in a few videos I've mentioned that it's not always like that, but I feel that I've left out some of that stuff. And that's why I posted those two videos recently. But here's like just a vlog episode. I guess I, I guess this is a vlog, except I'm not like walking around everywhere with with my camera and like showing you my shoes as I walk. But it's uh, it's me just kind of giving you a look into my life without having a real topic and just kind of saying that I don't feel like a mid level developer. I, I don't I don't feel like so I'm trying to think right. I'm 36 years old right now. I got my first job when I was 32. Uh, my son was just born. He's about to be four years old. So I have been working professionally for four years, almost four years as a developer. And I also spent like 10 months learning how to code. And then before that, I spent like seven or eight months learning like the A plus cert and learning about networking and a little bit of security stuff because I was going through the cert certification. So I've been, I have been focusing on a computer job for the last like six years or so five and a half years and even before that i've always been like the computer guy i've always i've always had technology and video games and stuff like that and i've known my way around a computer but i 
besides you know styling my MySpace page with a little HTML and CSS, I never learned how to code before that. So, but I've I've got some legit experience. I don't have the college degree, but I I, I can build an application, you know, with with pretty much any framework, and and I I can build you a website without having to use WordPress. I can build it from the ground up, and I feel like I should feel way more confident about my skills. And I don't know if I'm just extra harsh on myself because I am self-taught, because I am a dropout, a high school dropout, because I have a GED, because I, I've never even set foot in a community college or because I'm just like not supposed to be here because I don't know, man. Like I'm, I'm like some ghetto kid from Miami who, who, who just worked you know, regular jobs and never thought that I would have a career, but I do now. And it's kind of weird. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm having an identity crisis. It's like, I'm, I hope it's not a midlife crisis because I'm, I think I'm too young to have a midlife crisis and we're going to be buying a minivan soon. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't see myself in a sports car <laughs> anytime soon. So like life's just getting started for me. And I know that my career is really awesome right now. And this almost feels like a live stream because like I said, I'm not trying to make this a, a, a video and I'm getting thirsty here. So I'm just going to take a sip because this is a, a lifestyle creep, I guess, or whatever you would call it. Um, just giving you kind of like a little view into what's going on with me lately. And I don't know, this video looks like it's already like over 10 minutes long. I'm super thirsty. And yeah, I guess that's it. I guess what you can take from this video is don't be so hard on yourself. If you're learning how to code, you know more than you think you do and you're probably further ahead than you think you are. And if you've been learning for a little while now, if it's been a few months and you've built a few things, don't be scared to start applying for jobs. Um, make sure you build build your portfolio. Make sure you, you try to get some freelancing gigs. Make sure you build some websites for, for people or little mom and pop shops around your neighborhood. And, and just keep at it, because <laughs> maybe one day you'll be sitting back after a few years of doing it and feeling like you don't know anything and feeling that like you're kind of a bit of an imposter in a way um because i have been having some some pretty hard imposter syndrome lately and and just know that it's all good because it's just part part of the journey and it's part of the uh the reality of being a self-taught developer and going through it and at the end of the day you know I did it and I think anybody can do it if they really try and hopefully that's the message that this video gets out and hopefully it wasn't too much about me bitching and complaining about my job and my life because honestly my life is pretty good and my job is great and it's crazy that I have so many people watching my videos. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful at all, hit that like button. You know, if this is your first time here and you actually sat through me talking all of this crap, subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more. <laughs> all right. With all that said, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.